Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, good luck to Simon, still struggling with COVID but managing to produce a video a day so I don't have to do extra, although of course I am going to be trying to do five puzzles today because it's time for Great Balls of Gas, the genuinely approachable Sudoku from the Daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server. Um, and these puzzles are by Philip Newman, Sam Kappelman Lyons, and Clover. And these guys are brilliant constructors of puzzles that kind of bring you into some of the rule sets we see a lot on the channel. And I'm really looking forward to these five, as always. I'll be planning to go through the rules of all of them and then solve them as quick as I can and see, see if I can earn myself two hats for each puzzle. That's the reward for the quickest time. Now, I'll go through the rules in a minute. I do want to mention that these can be found on the Discord server. That's one of the links in the description field under the video, along with all our apps. And we've got a new one coming out soon. That's exciting. Along with Sven Sudoku Pad, our merchandise, the catalog of our videos, also um, the Patreon site. And yeah, actually, that's very relevant because the next Patreon monthly reward is going to be an equal sum lines pack by Joseph Nehmer, we believe. And the first puzzle here is an equal sum lines puzzle, so it's a perfect introduction to it. I hadn't thought of that, just realised it as we've been going. But uh, we will do that in a minute. So those are all the links. The first five links will be to the five puzzles for today. And let me... Just, I've got on my screen, I don't think you can see it, the text from the Daily Sudoku channel. So, Philip's post on the first day to this puzzle called the Andwin is, um, as established in theory and programming yesterday, Silmarillion graph theory is peak nerd. What does this have to do with today's puzzle? Almost nothing. I just wanted to share that fact. But if you're a Tolkien fan, you'll recognise the total title of today's puzzle. I think the end winds a river somewhere towards Mordor. I don't know, somewhere. Um, today's Gas 101 is a region sum line Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, there are some lines in the grid and each line passes through more than one of the three by three regions. Along each line, the digits in every region it passes through have the same sum. For instance, row five, column one, plus row four, column two, equal the same total as those three, equal the same total as those two. Um, this, is no, this is not a new variant to guess. Clover did one last month, but you may find it a bit trickier to break in with no digits on the lines. Um, and the hint on how to get started was available if you clicked on it. I haven't done that. All other solvers will receive an Cloned City Party crossed out. I think that's a reference to the fact that the City Party came up on two successive days just before this. But all other solvers, the dinosaur they receive if they don't get the two hats or the one hat for the quick times is an academic Argyrosaurus. Anyway, then we move on to a puzzle called Between by Clover, who says... Coming to a Discord channel near you on May 24th, what lies between? A group of Sudoku-loving college students, sorry about the drilling, travel to a mysterious off-grid forest cabin for a weekend speed-solving getaway, but they soon discover that the forest is haunted by the restless spirits of discarded gas variants, and they won't be allowed to leave up without solving them all. Alive has been crossed out there. Normal Sudoku rules apply also. Digits along a line must have values in between the values in the attached circles. For instance, if the circles on the ends of a line contain 1 and 7, then the digits along that line can only include 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And then you get the times for the quicker solvers um, hidden, and all other solvers will earn a spooky Stigimolok. That's a great dinosaur name. Then we move on for the third puzzle to Your Brain on Sudoku by Philip. Have you ever looked at a picture of a brain and wondered, those wrinkles sure do look awesome, how do I get more of them? Introducing gas, a revolutionary new treatment for wrinklifying brains. With just one dose, experience your brain being forced to bend to match the grid lines. Also, it may turn into a rectangle and poke out of your skull. Totally normal, no cause for concern. Asterisk. The asterisk says these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA, CIA or MI6. Also, they're completely made up. Side effects of reading this entry may include eye rolls, 
and in rare cases, laughter. If your brain turns rectangular and pokes out of your skull, please seek medical attention immediately and also how on earth are you still reading this? Oh yeah, this is not in order. We were expecting a Sam puzzle and he adds, Sam is off today so I'm posting a day early. You're encouraged to recklessly speculate about his whereabouts. Ah, on the, 5th, on the 25th of May, I reckon Sam was at the races. Um, and then there's the Times, and all other solvers will receive an available Arcusaurus. Oh no, hang on, the rules. It's killer Sudoku time, normal Sudoku rules apply, digits in cages, cannot repeat, and must sum to the total given. Perfect. And then we move on. Oh, then Sam does appear the next day, so those two are out of order. That's confusing. Today's gas is an arrow Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and in addition, solve the numbers on the body of each arrow... Sorry, in addition, the numbers on the body of each arrow must add up to the number in the attached circle. And then there's the times, and solve the puzzle in any time at all for an additive aculobator. So no hint from Sam as to where he was, and no, no funky preamble. He's just telling us what's going on, so he's clearly very busy at the moment. Then we move on to Clover again for May the 27th, a puzzle called Tic-Tac-Toe. Good morning, friends. The noble game of Sudoku is a real noggin melter at times. True. So today we're going back to a kinder, gentler game of tic-tac-toe. If your only ambition is to force a tie, you can read this and skip today's gas. And there's a posting to a blog post on tic-tac-toe strategy. But if you want to win, uh, we call it noughts and crosses in the UK, by the way, Clover. But if you want to win, read carefully onwards because the rules are a little tricky. Normal Stoker rules apply. Also, the digits along each grey line are all either odd or all even. Each digit in the central box corresponds to one of the regions of the Sudoku. So that digit corresponds to this region of the Sudoku. They're all obviously in order. Um, if the grey line in a region has odd digits, then its corresponding cell here is odd. So if they're odd, that's odd. If they're even, that's even. That's really interesting. Yeah, I've done one like this before, but a long time ago. Um, and that's it. Those are the rules. For, and there's the times. And then all other so solvers will earn a deadlocked Dolodon. Okay, that might be easily the most interesting puzzle here, just because of the intriguing rule set. So that cell, if it's odd, those are odd, and vice versa. But if it's even, those are even. Intriguing. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's try and remember to restart the puzzle so I know my own time, as always, and... Okay, enough waffle, let's try this equal sum lines and win, let's get cracking. Okay, so up here we've got one, two, four, so these add up to seven. Um, let's try that down here in case it's a more useful total, it's not. One, two, nine is twelve. Hmm, okay, this digit has to be 5 or 9, and this one is 7 or 3, just based on what's available. 4, 5, 6, 8. Hmm, here it's 3, 7 or 9. This is 3, 9 or 5. That hasn't really helped. So these two add up to 7, do they? Oh, this isn't quite as helpful as I was hoping. Should I do, I don't, this is gas. I don't want to do something holistic with adding up all the lines in the puzzle and working out what they all are. That would be crazy talk. Now these two add up to seven. And these two do, I don't know what to do with that. There's, they're not very restricted. Okay, let's just try and do some Sudoku somehow. Uh, we've got nines in these cells somewhere. I don't know. This is not the right approach either. We've got fours in those. Eight, seven, five, nine, four, six. That's one, two, or three. This isn't going to work either. I've got to use these line clues, surely. Ah, oh, no. Remember, that is a one cell bit of a line. So those two can't add up to more than nine. Oh, that appears there, appears there, whatever it is. That's the same digit, because it's the same equal sum. The same is true for that one. Right, that might be more helpful. This one can't be 4, 3, 7, 8, 5, or 6. So it's 1, 2, or 9. This one can't be 8, 7, 5, 3, 6, 9. So it's 1, 2, or 4. 
I'm sure that is... Oh, hang on. It can't be one or two, can it? Because then the total wouldn't be made up. So it's four, of course. And the same is true for the other ones, which can't be one or two. They must be nine. Right. So the fours are the more helpful ones. They get one threes on them. Now, this adds up to seven without using one or three or four. So it's a two five pair. The same is true here. That's also a two five pair, but I don't know which way around it goes this time. Now we've got that is a seven. That's effectively naked. That's where four goes, and these are six and eight. Now what's going on up here? Four is there. That's a six. These are seven and eight. And I think this has to go six, four, seven in both boxes to make the same total. I think that's got to be right. Eight, seven. Yeah, that's been incredibly helpful. So we're away now. Those can't be fours, so we know where the four goes in that box. Um, now, this isn't... Oh, no, this can't be right. Oh, well, that's because I mistyped that digit. That's an eight. Eight and eight. That's fine. Now, how is the eight made up? Can't be seven and one. It's either five, three, like that, or six, two, that way round. Here, I don't know. Here, it can't be two, six, or five, three. This is a one, seven. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I don't need those or any of those corner marks now. They're not any use to me. So, this is a three. That's the last cell in the row. This is now a seven, and what's this total? 12, so seven and five. That's now a five, and that's a seven. God, that's a really interesting beginning to the puzzle. I like it. Uh, that's not a one. We've got a one, two pair. There they go. Now, I can probably do the rest of this without worrying too much about the equal sum lines, but that would be daft when they're available. So that must be a three, six pair. Yeah. That really is helpful, actually. Um, eight has to go there. This is a two nine pair. So this line makes 12. And this line makes nine. Quick bit of work with the secret. And that must be an eight. Didn't need the secret. I could have used that equal sum line to get a much quicker resolution on that. Um, eight goes in the middle. Oh, this line is 16. Oh, that's not very helpful. This is a brilliant construction, actually, really clever. That's five or seven by Sudoku. So this is three or one to make the eight total. Now I get a one, three. This is two or five. So the nine in the row is there. Okay, that's good. This, I must know, it's a two. Four, seven, nine, eight, six. So what's going on here? This is two, five, or seven. That gives me a triple in the middle box. These are from 136. Ah, I'm not doing this the right way either. Now, these have to add up to 8, so that's not a 1. That's all that tells me. So there's a 1 in these cells. That's 2 or 6. That's 2 or 3. Right, and this makes 9, so it's 3 and 6. That was probably the much easier way of doing that. 2... Nine, one, that's 12. Yes, that works. That's a three. This makes eight, so that's a five, seven, and one. That's a six. This is a two, three. I'm really getting confused about how much Sudoku to do and how much equal sum lines work to do, and I don't think I've done very well here. Two and seven there. Nine and one here, but we are finishing off now. Three, eight, six, that's a five. This is a one, hopefully that's right. Six minutes, 21 seconds. Uh, ah, not a bad time given how long it took me to get into it. I enjoyed that, that was really clever. Okay, so now Between Lines by Clover. Okay, so let's restart the clock and let's go. So, long lines here. This must be quite high. Three, four, five, six, seven at least. This is eight or nine. This is even higher. Four, five, six, seven, eight on the nine. That on the line, that's nine. Four must go there. They're all different. Five must go there. Eight there. Seven there. These are three, four, five, six, seven. So six there. 
five. I almost thought there wasn't room for all those, but we've done them. That's a naked one. Two nine pair around it. Six and three in the column. One and two in the box. That's going to give us a one and a nine. And those columns nearly all completely finished. Now, three, four, five, six. That's at least seven. Four. Six, seven, eight here, it's got to be, that can fill them in, six, seven, eight, with a nine in the circle. So that means that's a seven, we've got to fit in four, five, six in this one. Is that a nine? Look, that is either three or eight. That's, oh, sorry, I've obviously hit numlock at some point, that's the next puzzle. Um, that's either, oh, I've done it again. Good grief, sorry. This is either three or eight, there we go. This is one or nine, that's what I was trying to do. This is a three, just by Sudoku, that's the way to do it. So this is now two or one. The two and nine are fixed, so that fixes this as a one. Two and four here, they're done. And boxes two, four, five, six, and eight are complete now. Uh, seven, four, five, three, six. That's one or two, that's eight or nine, that's two or eight, one, eight, nine, that's not, I don't think I looked at the right place. Oh, that's one or two, so that's a pair, and that's eight or nine. Actually, this might be very useful. So these are all pairs, so one, two, three, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven. That must be one of the middly numbers. Four has to go here in the box. This is higher that's six that's five there's seven okay that was incredibly useful now let's try and do the same up here one five there uh it's not going to work as well is it two two six there no not at all okay so but four eight and seven still to place one of these is a seven uh one of these is a four I don't think that's quite as usable, sorry. Five, six, so I need to find something else. That's one or four, one, three, four, seven. That's a naked six. That's the sort of thing I want to find. That makes this a two. That places two here. That fixes the one, two pair. Now, this is one, three, four as a triple. So that can't be a one. One, three, four, six, one, two, three, four, seven. Five or eight. Oh, why isn't that more useful? This is a seven six pair. This is three or five. This is eight or nine. I need to use this. Nine seven one two five three. That's four six or eight. Two nine four six three. One five seven or eight. Um, and this comes in the middle, and that has to be four seven or eight. Can't be nine. Ah, no, we've got nine in the box. Yeah, that's not useful. So, can't be eight because we can't get nine into the circle. Can it be four? It could be if that's a one, but that would break this. Right, that's handy. So this is a seven. There is an eight in one of those cells. I don't know which one. Can I just use the seven? It gives me this seven six pair. That stops this being a six, but I don't know whether it's higher or lower. That's quite significant as well. Oh, rats. Um, this can't be a six. This is one or three. Oh, this can't be two. So that's an eight, nine pair. Four is here. Right, now we know how that one works. And now I can finish off, I presume. That's a one. We've got an eight, nine pair and a three, five pair down there. That's a three. Okay, three there. Six and five and three and five and one. Yes, that's working. Four, three, one. That's a five. That's eight. That's two. Eight there. Nine there. Eight and nine. And that's it in just under five minutes. So I think that'll definitely be good for two party hats. Might be on four by now. Um, and we go on to, well, a second fillet puzzle. <laughs> Accidental. Quick look at the grid. Right, this is Killer Sudoku. So I think we know the rules of that. We need to add up to the numbers in the cages. No repeats. Let's go. We've got a 987 down here. Ah, 986 in the next door cage. 
Um, don't know about oh ten. That's got to be a one five pair. Now this eleven can't have a one in it, so it needs a two, and it can't be two four five. So it's two three six. Uh, there's a nine in that. Not that helpful. Right, come on. Six there. We've got a seven eight nine triple. So these are from one three five and include a three. So that's not three. So it's either three one eight or three five four. It's got to be three five four. Okay, that's good. One five five three six four two. The one is there. That is seven or nine. Okay, so all those cages are kind of done. Three four five triple there. This is a two seven pair and oh I should know well I must know what that is now. Three four five one two seven six eight nine. That must be a seven. Therefore that can't be. Okay, well I think that's right. Um now this is a one two three cage, so this feels like a clover puzzle where I should have started in the top right, top left. Um Oh, that two has sorted out three and two. So three, one, four, two, six. The nine goes in one of those places. These are from five, seven, eight. Five, seven would need a six. Five, eight's impossible. Seven, eight would need a three. So there is a seven there. Okay, that's not how to do it. Seven, two, these have been resolved. That's more how to do it, if I could type them. Nine, two, one, six, seven. Ah, oh, there's got to be a one in that cage, so it's there. That's a three, four pair. That's good. Five, three, we need an eight in the row, in the column, I mean. That's become a six. So these are five and seven to make the maths work. Nine and eight in these cells. That gives me a nine, eight pair in the final column. Ah, uh, come on, come on, this is good. Nine, one, two. We've got an eight to place in this box, and three and four. Eight, nine, one. Oh, this needs a nine in. It's got to be there. Then this can't be eight, five, so it's six, seven. That resolves five and seven. This has to be a two to complete the column. Two, six, seven, three, four, eight. That's a five, surrounded by one and nine in some order. Oh, look, the four, three has been done, and a six, seven. Didn't use the given digits at all. That's a two, that's an eight. This must be seven and six now. This must be three and four. There is a certain symmetry going on there that I've only just noticed. Uh, nine, eight, seven, six, three, that's four. Then we've got a one, two, five triple that we'll get to soon. Nine and one, this must be six. Uh, five, eight, nine there, they're not very useful. That 9, 8 has been resolved by the 8 above. That's good. It also fixes that pair. Now I can finish these cages. 5 there. 8 and 3 is no good. So 8 and 4 leaves a 7. That works fine. 8, 7, 6, 9, 5. Oh, well, we need a 3 and a 9 in row, th in row 3. Sorry about my typing. Now I can do 9, 8, 5 here. No, I can't. How about seven six five? Yes, I can do them. That's a three. We've got four two one to place up here, starting with a two. Then I don't know. Now I can do this. Surely five eight nine. Yes, I can do the five there. That does it. Six eight nine down here. Three four five over here. Yes, I can do the three first. There we go. That fixes four and one, and then one two five must be a right in in that order. And I've got something wrong, so not in that order. In fact, it's 5, 1, 2. There we go. 4 minutes 23. Um, that's better. So I hope my brain has wrinklified further thanks to that Sudoku. And now we finally get to a sand puzzle. Fourth one in. Very rare. Let's see how this goes. We've got uh, arrow Sudoku. So let's go. 2 1 pair there, 1 3 pair here, which can be written in, so that fixes the 1 2 pair. This now can't have a 1 on it, it's not quite as helpful. This can't have a 3 or a 7, so that's a 2 6 pair. This can't have a 2 or a 1, it's a 3 4. This can't have a 1 or a 3, so it's either 2 7 or 4 5. This is either 
Oh, they can't be 3, 4 thanks to that. So it's 5, 2. Now that can't be 2, 7. This is a 2, 1. This. What? Have either of, I don't think they've all got sorted out. That's irritating. That can't be a 2, 6 because of that. So it's either 3, 5 or 1, 7. Now, if it was 3, 5, those would both be 4s. So it is 1, 7. This can't be 4, 5. Mm, I can't get much further than that. 4, 1, 3. So what's this? This can't be 1, 3 or 4. 2, 5 or 6. It can't be 2 or 5 because of the number below it. Excellent. So that's a 6. This is 2, 5 or 7. Well, it can't be seven. Oh, that wasn't a good place to go. These nines, nine is not as helpful as some of the others. Um, where do I need to go next? Somewhere it's screaming to just be carried on with. I can't see where. That's not four or five. Um, Six three. No, I don't know. So, am I going to have to really fill in the remaining cell, the remaining candidates in these columns? I'm sure I do not have to do this, but it might be the quickest way to get there. Eight, two six. One of those. Oh, this is a X wing on ones. So this can't be nine one eight. Is that all I know? Four, one, three, six, seven, nine. Let's just do ordinary Sudoku. That is two, five, or eight. Making this seven, which is impossible, or four or one. And yeah, two of those are impossible. So yes, we do get a bit of a go there. Now that makes that one two, that makes that one seven. Now what about this digit? No, what about this one? Eight, two, six, seven, one, nine. That's three, four, or five. One, four, five, one, two. This is three, six, seven, or eight. Can't be four or five. So that's a 6-3 pair, and that is going to fix this arrow, and that really is helpful. All the arrows are now done. So where do I get going next? That is a naked 8. Interesting and surprising. 7-9 pair, 5-4-6. That's a naked 4 in the same box. So this is a 1-2-3 set at the top that I can fill in. That can't be a 1. One, two, three, a no, let's look down the columns. Yes, eight and eight, I say, and seven, five and four down that one. That's good. Two, three, seven here. I can do all of them. Now, oh, this is good. I think I'm on the track now. Oh, I say that and I come across a triple I can't resolve and a pair I can't resolve and another pair I can't resolve. Ah, I'm not on the track. Five four nine five four nine one three two. That can't be ah. That is actually resolved as a seven, which doesn't get me any further. Two seven five three six one eight. That's four or nine. Ah, oh, Sam, this is brilliant. I'm getting still held up. That can't be a five. That can't be a one. I knew that. Got a one eight nine triple. That's very useful and unexpected again. Right, they come. Come on. three, three, three. I think I've got all the threes in the puzzle. No, one more to go. There it is. Three, two, one. So four. Is it one of those? Oh, come on. What's the key to this? Six, three, six. That can't be six. This can't be nine. Two or five here, two, five or nine here. Why is this not becoming available? Two, seven, five, six, three. That can't be eight. It's one, four or nine. I'm really struggling here. That could be five or nine. Four, five or nine at the top. Seven has to be up here somewhere. Oh my goodness, this is driving me mad. 
five, six, eight, nine quad. I'm sure that's not necessary, but it does help. Um, two there. That makes this a two. Oh, that's been available for a while. I can suddenly see now. Five, eight, and six. That's a five. That's six. That's eight. Right. Finishing one box in this puzzle, I think, is going to do an awful lot. Five, six, nine. There's another one. There's a fifth done. That's a nine. Um, one, eight. This is six. I've got a seven, nine pair at the top. So that's eight and five. That's a six. This must be... It's not known, not by me. Five there, four, seven, nine to go. Three, nine, six, that's a four, that's a one, eight, nine, seven, that should be nine and seven. And now I've just got one puzzle to do. Six minutes, 18, might just scrape the two hats, not certain about that. So let's restart on the tic-tac-toe. Oh yes, I liked this rule set now. Where can we get started here? We've got a six in one of those cells. It would be great to find a ah, two on a line. Okay, so that's even, and it's an eight, because it sees two, four, and six. This is even, so that's e Oh, hang on. That has to be another eight. Oh, no, I'm looking in the wrong box. This is where the even digit is for that box. Right. Good thing that happened. Uh, this is an even digit for this box. Those have to be a two and an eight. That's the important thing about this being even and that one. Right, so they're done. Those are even digits. Oh, look, one, three, five, seven. That's two or nine. Oh, that nearly tells me about this line. That's a one, that's just by Sudoku. Um, two, one, four, eight, five. It's a six in one of those two cells. That's not a six now. One, three, five, seven, six, two. That's four, eight, or nine. Now, is there another line that is completely obvious what parity it is? That is four or seven. One of these is a one. I'm really hoping to find another line with a totally obvious parity on it. And that ought to help a lot more. Three, eight, six, two, one, four. I've got four. Five, seven, and nine to put in those. That's not very useful. That's two or four. Ah, now this can't be even, so that has to be odd. And that's this one. Not very helpful there, but these all have to be odd. One, three, that's five or seven. The, this is three or nine. This is three or five. Come on. So four and six has to be in one of those cells. Four has to be in one of those two. It's not as helpful as I wanted. And two, don't know, two could be there or in those. So even finding that that was odd didn't break through. I thought maybe that would. This is four, eight or nine by Sudoku. So that's a quadruple, which is weird. Um, two, four, eight, nine quadruple. Nine's in one of those two cells, so that's not a nine. Now this is even. Ah, now that might be a breakthrough. Two, four, or eight, two or four. Then we've got one, three, and nine to place. That's one or three. And even in this cell, and it can't be two, four, or eight. That is quite useful. We get a six there. Um... Six, two, four, eight, nine, one, five. That's three or seven. One and five are up here. And we know that all these corner ones are odd. So that's a seven. We knew that was odd. This must be one, five, three. The five goes there. And then we can do three and one. That place is six here. Don't know about four and eight. This is odd as well. That's a nine. Two's up there. That's a one. Five, one, nine, that's three or seven. I don't know which, but we're well on the way now. That's a naked seven. Four and eight there. Two, nine, eight, six, seven. That's a four. That's an eight. Three and one in the column. That's become a four. That's become a seven. This is eight. Three and nine. Can't do those, but never mind. We can do 
No, not up there. That's not an 8. So this is where 8 is. That's not an 8 now. 6, 8. That is a 9. 1, 6, 8. This is a 5, 7 pair. So that's 3. That's 9. That's now 3. That's 1. This is 2. That's 4. 2 on the other end of the line. 4 and 6. Can't do the 5, 7 pair. Never mind about them. This, oh yes I can, there's a 7 at the top, I just can't scan because I'm a stormtrooper. Um, that's a 5, 7 and 6 even at the top, so that's a 2, that's quite interesting. 4 and that must be 8, yes I'd forgotten we still had an even to identify even, that's a 9 now. 9 and 5 at the top, 4 and 3 here. That's a 6 to finish those rows. That's a 5 to finish the column. 7 and 9 are done now. 5 and 1, 8 and 4, 3 and 7, 9 and 3. And that's a pretty quick to all oh, just over 5 minutes. But I doubt very much that's the cutoff for two hats. So that gets all five puzzles done. Brilliant, great balls of gas. They really were great today. I love those. And this one, possibly my favourite of all of them, as expected. But some really good puzzles. Thanks, as always, to, to Clover, Sam and Philip for their efforts. They are really greatly appreciated by so many people. And uh, do say what you thought about the puzzles in the comments. Always very interesting. And thank you, as always, for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.